Hello, welcome back. In this video, I show you how to stream this straight to this. First, what you'll need to do is see if your TV has an input for an HDMI cable. One right there, and one right there. Next, you'll need to make sure your computer can plug into an HDMI cable. Mine uses HDMI Mini. For mine, since it has an HDMI Mini, you have to look for a cable converter that can convert the small to the large. And next, you're going to want to pick up an HDMI cable. This one is a six foot long cable I got for about 15 bucks. But this one, this short, is only going to work if you have your computer and your TV close together. As you can see, my computer and my TV are a little more than six feet apart. So what I did is I went on eBay and I found a 30 foot cable that goes from all the way from my computer all the way around past my ghetto Xbox and plugs into my TV. So now that you've got all that hooked up, you're going to want to check where your inputs are. Mine is plugged into input 2. Go ahead and find the input selector on your TV and click the button a couple times. On my TV you'll see a box pop up. If you keep hitting the button, go down and select HDMI 2. Now right now it's saying no signal. That's because I don't have the output set up on my computer yet. So go ahead over to your computer and right click on your desktop. You'll see this box pop up. Go ahead and click on screen resolution. I'm using Windows 7. This might look a little bit different if you're using a different operating system. For this to work on my computer I'm going to have to disconnect one of the monitors. That way I can connect the TV because my video card can only support two displays. So to do that, select one monitor, in this case this is my left monitor. Go down to where it says extend desktop display, it might not say this on your computer, and go ahead and disconnect this display. Click apply. Now you have one display on. To select your TV, go ahead and click around. This one happens to be my TV. Now. I can duplicate display 1 and display 2. Go ahead and click that and hit apply. After this you'll be able to look up to your TV and there it is. You might want to fiddle around a little bit with the resolution to make it a little bit clearer on your TV. Now, instead of dragging your mouse and keyboard onto your bed that way you can lay back and watch your computer on your TV Go ahead and download the Remote Droid server online for your computer and the Remote Droid Android app for your Android cell phone or tablet. I just happen to have a few Android devices laying around to my disposal, so I'm going to go ahead and use one and hook this up. So once you download and install this program on your phone and your computer, go ahead and open up the Remote Droid server app on your computer. It'll look a little something like this. But what you're really worried about is this little IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.11. Then go over to your device and click on Remote Droid. It'll pop up this little screen. Now you probably won't have these, these ones down here saved, but go ahead and type in that IP address up at the top. After you've done that, go ahead and click Connect. There we go. So now you can sit back on your bed and move your mouse around with your phone. You can also do keyboard too if you click this button right here. And if you have a phone like mine, you can slide it open and use this keyboard, the physical one. So guys, I hope this how-to helped you. If it did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And please be sure to share it if you think it can help someone else.